Today on Beyond, this woman has been missing for over a year. I want to go towards a mountainous area. Can James help her sister and the detective finally solve the case? And what was so troubling about this man's secret that it forced him to jump to his death at the Grand Canyon? His mother returns to the site to find out. Why did he come to me? Why did he come to me? Plus... I think Margaret has a son that visits. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing, I know. Because <laughs> you just amaze me. <laughs> Today on Beyond. Using his extraordinary psychic ability to communicate with spirits, he's transformed lives by unlocking mysteries and sharing secrets from the other side. James Van Prague, best-selling author, renowned medium, and your connection to the world beyond. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you at home also for joining us today. I'm going to get to the spot readings in just a minute, but first I have something very special to share with you. One of the great things about doing this show is I have an opportunity at times to go to different places around the country and meet very special people. One weekend I spent in Grand Canyon with this lady named Roz Michaels. It really helped her and helped me to look at life and death very differently. I want to share with you her story about her son who jumped to his death at the Grand Canyon. Please watch it with me. My name is Roz Michaels, and I would like to connect today with my son, Bruce. My son was just 21 years old when he committed suicide here at the Grand Canyon. He was gay, and he never told anyone. He pretended to be heterosexual, and uh, keeping that secret became very deadly for him. He went to a place called No Name Point. He drove five days to get here. They said that they believed that he probably jumped the same day that he arrived. The rangers wouldn't let me even identify him. So I never got to say goodbye to him. That was very difficult. I need to know for sure that he's all right and that he's at peace. And I didn't want him to suffer. And I just want a bit of him in my life. You, know, you lost your son, and you lost him in a pretty much incredible way in the Grand Canyon. That's why we're here. Your father comes in here, he's standing right behind you, and he wants to give you his love. He's also telling me that she's always been her own person, and she would never listen to me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Your father's showing me a, um, a hat he's wearing, and it has a brim on it. Okay? And he's talking about this hat, this funny hat. And he's laughing, and um, he's talking about you either have a photo of this, of him with a hat, and he's laughing about this. When my sister and I were younger, we used to dress him up. He would be lying on the couch, and we would muss up his hair and put silly hats on him and pose and take pictures. <laughs> and he always put up with us. And I'm hearing, hi, Mom, I'm here. And he has these beautiful eyes. Yes. He's very excited. He's talking to me about cooking. <gasps> He always wanted to take a class in cooking. You he wanted to be a chef at one point. Okay. Well, he's telling me he's going to be taking classes in cooking. <gasps> okay. okay. <laughs> Did he ever run, like jog? Um, I don't know if I, not really. Did he want to change his name at one point? Yes. Oh. Yes. It was a big deal. It was a silly name. <laughs> and you were like, what the heck yes. is wrong with this kid? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there a Michael anywhere, please? That's his older brother. Well, let's give love to him, please. Oh, thank and you, And please Bruce. tell Michael it wasn't his fault. He gets very, very emotional here now. It's OK, honey. He, he, he didn't mean to hurt you. I know. He didn't mean to hurt you. I know. And this was not your fault. And he wants you to stop blaming yourself for this. Okay? You need to stop. Because <laughs> it wasn't your fault. Why did he come to me? Why did he come to me? You know, he, he came to me last night in a dream. Your son. He did. I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning and I knew it was him. I saw these eyes, the same eyes I'm seeing now with him. And, um, 
And he said then the same thing. It was not, you know, it's not my mom's fault that she thinks it is. When he passes over, by the way, he doesn't know where he is. He lost consciousness. And he's not sure what happened. He thought he was in a dream. He said he thought he could get out of his pain by leaving. And he said it met him. He couldn't. Right. But he said he understands himself more now. It's not fair. He said, Mom, you're helping me from where you are. So you're, oh. helping him. you're helping him. Okay? You're helping him from here. I wish I could have helped when he was here. Well, you did what you, you did the best you could do. And did you make a montage of either his pictures or those cards or something? Or like a big thing with all of those? Could it be a film that is? Brother Michael put together after his passing of oh, okay. photos of him from when he was a baby. Montage of the photos. And they wanted duplicates of that, or they wanted to make duplicates, so someone wanted... It's, yeah. it's actually on video. Okay, we and we got video. copies from people, or someone asked Yes, them. is he pleased? Very. Shocked. <laughs> he said, um, I don't... You don't realize how you are appreciated and loved until after. He didn't realize it until afterwards, when it was too late. It was too late. Mm -hmm. And he said to tell you he didn't feel any pain because he wasn't worried about that. He didn't feel any pain. He says, I'm very proud of you, Mom. Thank you, darling. Give uh, me a hug. <laughs> he's free. He's free. That is so special. <laughs> you are amazing. Well, I just love you. It takes fun to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome, sweetie. Let's hope it helps. Okay. And did you make a montage? All of a sudden it hit me. After Bruce's death, his brother Michael got all the video footage of Bruce and he created this three hour life history of Bruce. And then he gave it to me for Christmas. Did he want to change his name at one point? When he was a teenager, I came home and he said, I hate my name, I hate Bruce. And I said, well, what name do you like? Who do you want to be? And he said, Bruno. He's talking to me about cooking. For two years, he kept saying he wanted to be a chef. Bruce once played hooky from school to make me homemade gnocchi and a chocolate fudge cake for my birthday. So he was a good cook. I feel so at peace. I think now I can move on with my life. And that separation that I felt when he left the physical plane is no more because I know he'll always be with me until I join him in spirit. Still to come, sometimes psychics bring up the darndest things. Now, I also want to talk about two husbands. <laughs> <laughs> and will James be able to uncover new clues in the case of the missing woman? I feel this was around nighttime. Yes. Because that's what I'm seeing. I don't see day, I see night. Find out next on Beyond. Friday, May 4th, 2001, Dana McPeak was last seen in the city of Lompoc, California. A couple days later, she was reported missing by her sister, Randy. And we've exhausted all leads and haven't been able to find where she is. It's like a part of my life is missing, empty. It's not the same and it never will be. I would want her to know that I miss her a lot and I love her. I will never forget her. The circumstances of her disappearance are suspicious. Um, there was no sign that she was going anywhere, taking a trip or doing anything. What I'm hoping is that we can find where she's at. We'll have a place to go. Then I'll have a grave to visit, just like everybody else. Hi, Randy. Yes. Hi, James. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are Sergeant Duskin, yes. is that right? And the first name is Dave. Yes, you yes. said Dave. David, okay. And I know your sister's missing, is that right? Yes. And you want to see if I can pick up anything about her disappearance? Yes. Okay. How long ago did this uh, this happen? About six months ago? Or? It's been over a year. Over a year now. Yes. Over a year now. Okay. May the 4th. Wait, well, let me see what I pick up. I want to first work on an intuitive or psychic level and see what I pick up, okay? And there's also a lady over here next to you who's a grandmother figure, but I'm going to go to that in a second because she's not ready to speak, okay? okay. And your uh, sister's name is what? Dana. Dana. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Did you live not live close by her? or? Uh, relatively, but mm, more than a few blocks. I don't feel she's passed over. 
I do not feel she's passed over. I do not get her here. This lady's telling me she's not with her, so I'm not picking her up. Okay, was she away from home when she disappeared, please? Yes. Okay, yes. there's an older man that's there with her. Um, I see white, white hair on the sides. I feel it was dark, by the way. I feel this was around nighttime. Yes. Because that's what I'm seeing. I don't see day, I see night, all yes. right? Um, I see backs also. I don't know if she parked her car in the back of behind stores or the back. Was there, is there a back alley or a back area yes. Yes. where she would park? Was the, with your sister, did she have a drug problem earlier? In, in yes, she did. Mm -hmm. She was in recovery. Mm -hmm. Had been for a while. Mm -hmm. I want to go towards a mountainous area. Was, did she live near a mountain area, like a, not too high mountains, but lower mountains? Yeah, and by the hills. ocean? Yes. Because there's an ocean and then there's like mountains. Uh -huh. You understand this? Hills around Lompoc, yes. Lompoc, where is that? Santa Barbara County. It's in Santa Barbara, okay. So, but I want to go north of Santa Barbara, okay? I want to go north and I want to go towards like Sacramento area. Uh -huh. That's where I want to go towards, okay? And there's a Jimmy involved in something, okay? okay? I don't know who had ties to Reno or went visiting there. Did your sister ever go to Reno? She might have. I've, I've been I there a check, few times. Okay, I want to do something with Reno also. I want to check that out. I want to ask, Sergeant, do you have any questions for, that I could help you any, and with further with? What type of mountains? See, I see, like, okay, Santa Barbara Mountain. There are mountains in Santa Barbara, right? Are there? So low, mountains. low, low mountains. Because it's that sort of thing. You don't see any kind It's of right around the Santa Barbara. It's snow or anything No, not like at that. all. Not at all. Okay. No, no, not at all. Not at all. And I want to go to where the, I don't know where she last was. I want to go to where she last was. I want to go to where there's an area where drug dealing happens. What about that? Where you, where you said she parked the car mm -hmm. um, behind some buildings, mm -hmm. an alleyway, mm -hmm. yeah, anything else? I'm saying garbage dumpsters. Is um, the name Jimmy? Is that the guy with the gray hair? Is it could be. I, it could be, or it could be the Jimmy with the drugs. I don't know. I feel like she's with people around drugs, and they're keeping her. Then that's what I'm getting. I'll be more than happy to help you out further if you want me to. You can go. I can even go there too. And that would help. Yeah, we can go and see what to pick up in the location. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I do not feel she's passed over. I do not get her here. You seem surprised. Yeah. My, I think my jaw dropped to the floor. Yes. I, 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 I find it, it was un unthinkable to me that there was another possibility. And now that you've got this information, how do you feel? It makes me want to run out and look for her <laughs> right away, you yeah. know. Now, Detective, you came here today. I guess you've been working on this case. Yes, I have. Now, James gave a lot of bits and pieces of information. Was any of it new for you, what he said up there? Several things he said were consistent with the investigation that hasn't been released to the public. Like what, for example? I can't really say. Okay, you can't the, release it the to the public. <laughs> okay, the God, I'm sorry, Detective. No, I understand completely. Are you surprised, though, that James had this information? and it's some things that you say was not released to the public? Yes, I was. How do you feel about this whole experience, being part of it, listening to what's being said? Um, still a little skeptical. Okay. Um, some of the things he said, I, I wonder how he could possibly know other than um, being psychic. Thank you very much, and please keep us posted. We want to know what happens, and of course, James is going to be there, so oh, yes. we'll keep okay. up on it. Thank, Thank, you Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Next, James rings a bell in the audience. Now, who has the very rare blood type? I have no idea. But he has to ring twice. I'm being told about a weird blood type, and I'm also told about a brother. Oh, oh yes, I am. Yeah. It's okay, it's called psychic amnesia. <laughs> Next, on Beyond. We now join James in the audience. Okay, is there anyone here that has a, a father or a male in spirit with the name of Edgar or Eddie? Is your father passed over? Yes. Okay. Because I feel like I'm going over here with an Edward or Edgar or right in this area over here. No. That was not his name. I know that was not his name. <laughs> 
but I want to come. I'm going to be a father for you. Could you stand up, please? And there's a mother there too. Okay, there's a lady here also with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your first name? Diane. Diane. Mm -hmm. Okay, Diane. He's talking to me about a surgery or a medical thing that either you're going to have done, and you didn't have it done. I hope I don't have to have it done. You don't. Good. Thank you. Your father's thank telling you, me you, you don't. I know that you, he's talking about your mother also, yes. and that you must have spoken to mother about this situation. Yes. And he's telling me I was watching you. I was there in the room when you were talking to mother, okay? He's with her a lot, by the way. Yes. And Peggy, someone, I don't know who that is. Who's that? Uh, Margaret or, or? Oh, my mother's in a nursing home and she's in the bed next to my mother. Right. I think Margaret has a son that visits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I know. <laughs> yes, you just amaze me. <laughs> um, now, who has the very rare blood type? Is it a RH factor or is it a weird blood type? I have no idea. Did your dad have a weird blood type? Not that I'm aware of. I'm being told about a weird blood type and I'm also told about a brother. So you have a brother no. or did he have a brother with a weird blood type? Oh, that could be. Oh, oh yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> We're not close there. That's okay, it's called psychic amnesia. <laughs> okay. Now, I also want to talk about um, two husbands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's nothing safe here, you know. Like, <laughs> National Enquirer has nothing on me. <laughs> now, I will definitely respect your privacy, but just as information for you to let yes. you know that he's aware of your life and he knows who you are and he, that he's here, he's talking about that. And I don't know what this stuff means when I say, you know, he says two husbands, so I guess it's for you. Yes. But um, I don't think he liked the first one. And I don't, I, I know he didn't, and because he's telling me that. And I feel that there's, there was definitely um, a learning curve for you, uh, learning about who you are, about yourself, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. You understand that? Yes. And um, he's telling me your mother will pass in her sleep. I hope so. He's telling me to tell you this. And he gives this to me with a lot of compassion that you will pass in her sleep. I feel there's a sister in spirit yes, who's waiting she is. for her, okay? And she can't wait to see her again. Where is like a dresser set that your mother had? It's, a, it's, it's at, at the, the nursing, nursing home? home with okay. her. Uh -huh. And you move the drawers, you move the drawers there, the dresser. And give yes. it to him about the dresser. Yes. And I want his picture there. Uh, is it on the dresser or something? Or where is it? No, his isn't. Where is it? Nightstand or something? Why don't we have a picture of me on the table, on the drawer? <laughs> I'll get one. I'm sorry. <laughs> My sister and I are on the dresser. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but not good enough. Okay, <laughs> I'll get a picture. <laughs> he's just telling me that he, he wants her to know that he's around her, and he thinks that she needs that right now. She needs this because she's very frightened, and she needs to be at peace with knowing that he's around and that her family is there, okay? Okay. All right, I want to leave you with that, okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel there's a sister in spirit yes, who's waiting she is. for her, okay? Now let's talk about your mom, because you got very yeah. emotional yes, when I James am. talked about your mom's sister is waiting for her. Yes, my aunt passed away, oh, I don't know, maybe six, eight months ago. Mm -hmm. And it was very difficult for me to tell my mother that because my mother's in, a, in the nursing home and she waits every Sunday for my aunt to call her from Nebraska. Well, needless to say, she didn't call for a while. So yeah. I had to finally tell my mother. And that was a relief to let for me to know that her sister, my mother's sister, is waiting for her. Why don't we have a picture of me on the table, on the drawer? My mother's in really very bad shape and it's very, very painful for me to see her that way. I had no idea she, ha she was afraid to go. I, she doesn't emit that she has fear of passing. So James says, get a picture over there. Daddy will take her. And that's what, that's what it's about. There's my answer from what I wondered this morning coming up. Well, I'm glad you found it. I'm very glad. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. If you'd like a chance for a reading with James, send a letter to Beyond, P.O. Box 4399, Hollywood, California, 90078.
talk about the uh, Grand Canyon piece a little bit because once again you went on location. Yes. Does it help you to somehow connect with the spirit? Is sometimes, that why you go there? Yeah, because the energy sometimes is stronger there and the memories are there with that location. So it sometimes helps in that way. It's really interesting. And I love it. I mean, I love going to different places and meeting different people and seeing different situations. And you get rainbows at the and end of it You get rainbows. All. It's the best pay you can ever get to do helping people, <laughs> right? Good. Maybe it was just raining that day. And there's a rainbow. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Could be. Wishing you all rainbows in your life. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>